Hey guys, Money01 back with another Destiny video. Today I'm going to show you four new ghost locations. First, we need to head into patrol on the moon. Once you land, you will start in the archer's line. From here, you need to go to the halls of wisdom. Hop on your sparrow and follow my guardian, and he will take you to that location. I decided to do this on my Titan for two reasons, greater height and increased control. This makes things a lot easier than the warlock or hunter in my opinion. First and foremost, I need to give credit where credit is due, so thanks to JPG1977 for showing me these ghosts today. Now once you enter the Halls of Wisdom, right in this circular area you'll find a wizard. Make sure to turn left into this room. This room is a, it's a bit tricky to get this ghost if you don't kill everything. There's some thralls, uh, some acolytes, and a couple knights, maybe a wizard. Uh, after that, right to the left of my bubble, you'll see a pillar with a light on it. We need to head up where my guardian is pointing right now. From there, jump on these barrels, which are located right in front of the pillar. Head up, jump on top of the light. Once on the light, look up and right. In behind these wires, there will be a ledge. Jump through them, and there is your first ghost, Osiris, Vision 47. So now that that ghost is picked up, you need to turn around and head out the exact same way you came in. As soon as you leave the room, make sure to hang a left and head straight through this path. For year one players, there used to be a shrieker above there, which is currently not. Head through the halls. Keep following my guardian. Up and around the path into the circle of bones. Keep heading straight. Up until you come to this point where you see JPG stopping. Take a left. Jump up in the air on top of the light. But it's not this light you want to be on, it's the one straight across where I'm aiming. Jump across, and here is our second ghost. The Ocean of Storms 2. Okay, so after we've picked up the second ghost, we need to head into Fogoth's room. This will give us our third ghost. Uh, you'll need to pick the Summoning Pit Strike. You can do it on level 10, just making it easier. Right where JPG died on the screen is where we need to go. So I'm just going to wrap around really quick, popping through a few obstacles. Jump up. Right here is where you need to be. You can do this on either side, on the side where JPG is jumping, or on the left side where I jumped. Just jump straight across. It's going to take you up here. Now if you get Fulgoth out of his chains, he is going to shoot you, which makes things a little difficult. Just stay away from him, and he'll, he'll stay chained up. Next, just look up to the roof jump on this beam, run all the way down to the end, and that's going to give you the Exo Stranger 2. Now for the fourth and final ghost, I thought it would be easiest to show you guys how to do it from the uh, door where you enter Fulgoth's room. Uh, hang right, turn right, you'll have to jump up on the ledge, uh, just keep staying right all the way up into this point. Once you get to the far end, look up and you'll see a rock sticking out, that's where you need to be jump up. It is a bit tricky. I, I did fail here quite a bit of time. I had to cut the scene. Once you get on the rock, just jump straight up. And there's the last ghost, Rezel Azir. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe.